Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's soda review is straight from Sweden. So, a Christmas time soda, often enjoyed in Sweden, is Julmust. And I was sent three of them from uh, logo designer, soda fan, and friend Mark Ua. You may see him on Instagram. Um, or a little bit of Twitter, mostly Instagram. Anyway, he sent me three Yulmusts. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I believe I am. I've had Yulmust before in the past, but it was American-made, and it was a long enough time ago that I don't remember it. But these are, like I said, straight from Sweden, so I'm looking for, like, from the source. That's, that's, this is, this is, this is the ultimate test of if I will enjoy it or not. Today's is actually called your mush, your mush. There you go. Look at that. that fant it's like a, it's like a sweater. Don't forget, don't forget this little gingerbread man here. He's having a good time too. Um, I don't fully, I can't fully read everything on it because this is mostly in Swedish. But let's see, let's see, we can see. I believe alcohol fry means uh, it is alcohol free. We have ingredients, looks like water. He gave me a little bit of a cheat sheet here. Uh, water is in here, some malt. What is this one? I have no idea. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. Vatten, I'm assuming is water. Soccer, probably sugar. Corn malt, malt. Soccer cooler, cooler, I don't know. Citron syrup, my guess would be uh, like citric acid, connel, caramel. Um, whoo, I'm not gonna pronounce that one or that one. <laughs> Natrium benzoate, oh, is that like sodium benzoate? Na trium benzoate, like Na like salt, maybe that's it. And bourbon arom, so like maybe like a bourbon flavoring. Uh, let's see, he gives me a little bit of a cheat here. This is his favorite craft Yule Moost. Hints of gingerbread and bourbon. Uh, and this company also makes a great black currant soda. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, here's the name of the company. There you go. For those. It also says to pour hard. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm excited. Uh, this is the day, we're, what, what, I'm filming this on the 23rd, I'll probably post this, post this on the 24th. We'll, we'll get the other Yule Moose in here as well, but I wanted to try his favorite before Christmas. It's a good, satisfying snap. Ooh, that does smell a little bourbony. Ooh, I can smell the ginger too. He did say a hard pour though. So that's why I got these oversized cups. You want a nice, thick, foamy head. And that is definitely what it has. My goodness, look at that. Look at that. Look at the head on that. Look at the heed. Heed. Okay. Let's... So the aroma is, like I said, uh, bourbon is the strongest. Nice spices in there. It, it smells like Christmas. Not like pine tree Christmas, but... It's got a nice, it's very aromatic. Oh, that's delightful. It's not too sweet. Let's see if I can figure out how much sugar is in here. 220 kilojoules of energy. Uh, oh, sorry, 13, my, ooh, maybe 13 grams of sugar. But the taste, this is unlike anything I've had here in the States. It has a little bit, there's just the slightest, like a very slight sarsaparilla taste to it. And then, but that bourbon comes out the ginger I can smell after, but not like a, not like a ginger beer ginger, like a gingerbread ginger. You can smell it. I can smell it in the air right now. 
It smells like it smells like a faint like cookies are being baked a few rooms down. It's good. It's it's a very <clears throat> it's hard for me to describe because it's not something I'm familiar with. There's a little bit of like a spiced cola to it, but there's no real bite. It tastes a little, I know it says alcohol free, but that bourbon flavor he does give you a little bit of like a, is this alcoholic? Am I, am I being naughty? Not that those who drink alcohol are naughty, but for the joke purpose, I was drinking a soda. Am I being naughty? I didn't think I was going to drink it this fast. Is there more? Hardly any more. I, wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting to go through it that quickly. Carbonation wise. Carbonation is very light. It's enough to add a texture, but that's about it. Um, it's not flat because the bubbles, they tickle a little bit, but it's, it, some sodas taste like soda. Like a soda is a soda. And then some sodas feel special. This soda feels special. This Yule Moose feels special. Like it's a, you're having this once a year, you're looking forward to this once a year kind of thing. And I don't know if they sell this throughout the year. I'm assuming with the gingerbread packaging, they at least change that up. But that's, that's delicious. That was a delicious soda, and I thank you, Mark, for sending that to me. Wow, it's just... My mouth still has... It's not really coated in it. It's not like a sticky mouth texture it's just kind of a little bit of bourbon a little bit of that gingerbread a little bit of that uh, it's like a cola root beer combination kind of base and i'm it may not they're probably not using any cola nut and they're probably not using i don't know how big a root beer is over there it's like a big time american drink but i don't know how popular that is in europe but some of those are similar flavors in the back this sorry not root beer like a sarsaparilla um it's kind of it's a little earthy that's that was fantastic. I like this a lot. Thank you again for sending it to me. Um, a little speechless. But you know who's not speechless? The guy on sodajerk.net. There's over, almost said 350. There are over 350 reviews. There's also over 1,000 reviews at the sodajerk.net. Your one-stop shop for pop reviews. That's right. If you go there and there's a soda I hadn't reviewed, let me know. I'll hunt it down. That's, that's just what I'll do. Because I want to try as many as I can. The SodaJerk.net. I haven't tried them all. Yet.